Following the deaths of two children in an illegal sweatshop in Argent Argentina, people have taken to the streets there in protest. Social and political organizations and neighbors in Buenos Aires marched to the factory. Leo Pobletti now reports on how the operation accused of exploiting workers turned deadly. On April 27, two children aged 7 and 10 were killed in a fire in the Flores neighborhood of the city of Buenos Aires. Although these circumstances are still being investigated, it is presumed they died in a situation of labor exploitation. Neighbors and social organizations marched on Thursday around the illegal sweatshop. It's simple. The city government has to look, has to have an interest and has to take care of the most vulnerable sectors in the city of Buenos Aires. It has to reactivate the Secretariat of Labor. It's a delegate competition and the city government has an obligation to carry out its monitoring tasks on labor issues. It must also reactivate the Secretariat of Labor and demand explanations from the General Director of Labor Protection. What they are actually carrying out is the deep protection of labor. The children died from devastating burns as they were trapped in the basement of a house where the clandestine sewing workshops operated. Their parents were injured with burns of varying severity. We have come to demand trial and punishment of the masterminds behind this preventable death of two children, Rolando and Rodrigo, who died here in this workshop from preventable causes that could have been avoided if there were dignified labor conditions. That's first. Secondly, that something like this never happens again. And for that, we demand a third point. Public policies to convert these illegal sweatshops into factories with fully registered workers under the laws and regulations in force. This tragedy marks visible a problem that has long been denounced. The dozens of sweatshops operating in the city of Buenos Aires. We have two empty school benches. Rolando and Rodrigo, one in preschool and the other in fifth grade, five years old and ten years old respectively. They should be at school today and we would not be here. But they are not at school because of a cause that was totally preventable. Two empty benches whereby we will seek justice for them. Strangely, the sweatshop where the children died again caught on fire on May 7. The investigation continues. Leo Boletti, Telesur, Buenos Aires.